Well, this is like my third glass of wine. Honestly, I've never been a red wine girl, but this bottle actually tastes really good. I'm also actually in the process of uploading a video that got <laughs> copyright flagged. So I have to, well, I'm waiting for the process to be able to replace the music that got copyright flag. You guys get to see my before and then I'm gonna show you guys my outfit after. We might be going to two different parties today. It depends because if the first one is trash, um, there's a second one that we can go to. So the reason why we're going to the first one first is because it's closer. It's literally like down the street and around the corner. The other one is about 30 minutes away. So we were like, Eesh, let's go to the closer one first because if the closer one is good, we're just gonna stay at that one as opposed to drive all the way out. If the, if the first one is trash, then we're willing to drive further out, you know? So, all right, I'm about to go ahead and do my regular schmegler, nothing special about it, makeup, and then I'll come back on camera for you guys. I was gonna make this a whole separate video, but I decided, you know, I'm just gonna throw it into a Vlogmas episode or a Vlogmas video and call it a day. So, I wanted to go ahead and show you guys everything that I picked up in the past couple of shops. The reason why I'm doing this as a collective haul is because I had vlogs before, and I think I've talked about this. I talked about this in my last Vlogmas episode, but I've had like four days of clips and they completely deleted. So I was showing you guys like what I was getting as I was getting it, but because all of those clips deleted, I decided to compile it into this one like collective haul the shoes that i picked up because i picked up two pairs of shoes showed these on a vlog was super excited about unboxing them and now i'm going to be showing them again to you guys um the first pair are from puma these are the collaboration with lauren london um and the slogan is it's not on you it's in you super cute box so a lot of the collection was like browns i think she did have like one navy blue item like a sweatshirt or sweatsuit but i picked up a pair of sneakers I've wore these so much since I picked them up. These were definitely a good purchase. And this is what the sneakers look like. Super cute. Put the box down. Super cute sneaker. I love the color tones in here. It's like perfect in terms of nude against my skin tone. It is like a warmer nude. It has like a mocha color. If you um if you drink coffee, you know like the cold foam they put on the top. Basically, that's the color of these sneakers. And then they have a really nice warm like suede thing going on here. And then it has a little puma in the back, which isn't can you guys see that it does have a little puma in the back which is very subtle which i love super cute and then inside the sneaker it actually has lauren london's little initials the ll and then it has like this bandana pattern on the inside which is really cute which is basically what was all of her sneakers and, and the whole line had like some type of like bandana reference because the line's name is la love story super cute line so i picked these sneakers up because i wanted some like staple sneakers the other pair of sneakers that i picked up are from nike of course um these are super cute super girly uh, uh by the way i got my sneakers in a size i think these were six and a half yeah i got these in a six and a half in women but these sneakers i actually picked up in a girl size i got a five youth because i can still fit little kids clothes and shoes which thankfully and this is what the sneakers look like Let me put the box down hold on these are what the sneakers look like super cute sneaker it's like this cute little pink reflective it kind of looked like um air force ones when i first saw it on the website but they're not air force ones because air force ones as you know the check doesn't connect with the back of the sneaker but on these the check connects i forgot what the name of these sneakers were what was the name of these sneakers these are the court burrow low two se ones whatever that means i'm not a big sneaker head but i saw these and i thought they were super cute they're pink adorable i love the laces on them the only thing i don't necessarily like about them is that it has a little bit of glitter in the lace can you guys see that it has a little bit of like glitter threading but it makes sense because it is a kid's shoe so i was like you know what i could just put some white laces in the shoe instead of having the glittery laces but i picked up these super super cute and then the other place that i have some stuff from is zara i just have two things because i had to return a squirt that i picked up and i honestly the more i look at this next item i kind of think i might take it back um the next two items are going to be kids clothes because like i just said i can fit girls clothing so this first one is a leather jacket and i got it in a size 11 12 in kids super cute what is a pink leather jacket 
It's super, super cute. I love this tone, this tone of pink. It's like a bubblegum princess Barbie pink. Love that for me. Um, and it is your standard like leather jacket with the lapels, the metal hardware or the silver hardware. And this is what the jacket looks like on. I kept going back and forth on like the sizing because the sleeves are a little shorter on this jacket. And I was like, do I want to have like my wrist exposed but then I realized I do like my wrist exposed because when I wear jackets like this I tend to have long sleeves and I like to see some of my sleeve poke out of the coat everybody doesn't like that look but I do like that look and I like how the jacket fits on my body now that I'm wearing it again maybe I do want to keep this I don't know and then I do have two zippers on the side sorry if you can hear the kids screaming outside they literally are playing a game of hide and seek and I guess it got intense. I don't know. But um, it has cute little pockets on the side. And then, like I said, it does have the lapel at the top. The silver zipper. I do kind of... I don't know. I want to say, like, I don't necessarily love the silver hardware on here. But because it's pink, I feel like it wouldn't look right if it was gold. But still super cute jacket. Like I said, I'm still going back and forth on whether or not I want to keep this or return it. The reason why I'm considering returning it is because I'm like... Sydney, are you going to wear it or did you get it because it was pink, you know? But now I'm looking at it and I'm like, it's cute. I would wear it, but I haven't thought of like how to wear it yet. And then the next item, I'm not going to be trying on the clothing, just so you know. I tried on the jacket because I can just throw the jacket on. But the other item that I got from Sephora, it's Sephora. What am I talking about? Sephora's on my brain, y'all. But the other item I got from Zara is a turtleneck. I got this in a size... 13, 14, so it's still a kid size, but it's like bigger kid size than the jacket. And this is what the turtleneck looks like. It is a cute pink ribbed turtleneck. And I wanted a pink turtleneck because I just felt like it would be a staple in my wardrobe. It is a shirt. It's not a bodysuit. And it is super stretchy, but it's still like fitted enough that I would feel comfortable wearing this because I don't like looking boxy. That's a big issue for me sometimes and the sleeves are literally like perfect so i love this i'm definitely gonna keep this i can't remember how much this turtleneck was where'd this tag go okay i guess the tag is off of here i don't know but the turtleneck and the jacket weren't that expensive i think the jacket was like maybe 40 or 35 90 or something like that and then the turtleneck definitely wasn't expensive i just don't remember how much they were and i don't have the receipt handy right now so the next place that I went and picked up a few items, literally just two, is Express. And I picked up women's clothing, so no worries here, guys. I picked up a pair of pants and a shirt. I'm going to show you the top first. Here's what the top looks like. It's a super cute off-the-shoulder pistachio green top. It's pretty funky, like the way it's cut and stuff. It is cropped, but it's not too cropped. It's, it's, it's still classy, you know. Um, it does fall off the shoulder, but you can't sit it onto the shoulder, but I like how it looks off the shoulder and it does have a short sleeve so the sleeve comes this is my elbow so it comes right above like the elbow it is a knitted material so it feels really good on the skin this shirt was only $45 original price is 60 um super cute shirt I love the crisscross and I love the color of this and the reason why I picked up this shirt is because I thought it would go perfectly with these pants that I picked up so these are the editor pants um, apparently it's a really popular line of pants that they sell and these pants were $80 and this is what it looks like it's this really pretty like white pure white it's like icy white it has no warmth to it which is really nice sometimes when you're trying to like do that white white look like white and black or white and whatever other colors you're trying to throw on and these are the straight super high rise pants I got them in a zero regular. Oh, by the way, that shirt, that green shirt, what size is this? I got this in an extra small. Um, and then, like I said, these are a zero regular. Super, super nice pants. I love how they're tailored. I love how they're cut. They stop perfectly. They stop right above my ankle, which is what you want. Like, you want it to rest on your ankle or stop right above your ankle when it comes to tailored pants like this. I know the baggy look is in. Like, I know that's the style street fashion and everybody's doing, like, baggy, oversized clothing. But in terms of professionalism and in terms of looking very tailored and put together, you want your dress pants and dress slacks to stop at the ankle or just above the ankle. So, went to Abercrombie, picked up some items from the kids section because you guys know that's what I do. And I picked up 
two dresses one is the one that i'm wearing and i'm gonna show you guys that in a second like the details and i'm gonna lower the camera so you guys can see what it looks like and the other one is this one right here it was 50 dollars or 49.95 you guys know how amber crombie prices their items sorry the camera keeps going in and out let me move up closer but yeah so this is the dress that i picked up it's like this pink not like it is it's a pink sweater dress with a mock neck super cute dress long sleeve and it has a cinched in wrist which i love if it's not like straight like this in terms of like just straight down i like my sleeve to be a little bit of puff and then cuffed on the wrist and it does have like this pattern down that all sweaters tend to have like really nice sweaters tend to have that has a little bit of puff in the sleeve nothing overly like dramatic and it does flare out at the bottom can you guys see how it flares out you can't really see me holding it up but when you wear it it does give you a little bit of a line at the bottom so other dress which i'm wearing tonight to the holiday party or parties depending upon how this first one goes is this one right here this one was also $49.95 from the kids section. By the way, these are in a size... This one I got in a size 11-12. But this one I got in a 13-14 because I liked how this size fit. But it's a swoop neck, super cute neck. I thought this was a really low swoop for a kid, to be honest with you. I thought it was more flattering on a, a woman or a young woman. But who am I? Whatever. Um, It does have these nice long sleeves, super warm, nice material. Um, I love the ribbing. Can you guys see the ribbing on the arm? Love that. And it does have a ribbing, a diagonal ribbon across and straight down. It's a really, really nice dress the way it's made. And I'm just going to ang... Don't mind the floor because I'm going to show you guys the floor to show you guys the bottom of the dress. But this is what the bottom of the dress looks like it does give you a little bit of flair a little bit of fun flirting but nothing too crazy it's not too short my knee is right here so it doesn't stop too high above the knee i feel like if it was like up here that'd be <laughs> too much and then i love the cute little belt detail on the side sometimes i feel like belts can make or break a dress and more often than not it breaks a dress because it just adds like this extra bulk but because the dress is so simple and like plain and just like a-line, I love how the dress adds a little bit of girliness, a little cute moment if you put it in a little bow. But it also gives you that cinching if you do need more of a shape created. But I put it there for just the girliness because I do think the dress gives me enough shape. And it just is super cute. Very, very flattering all the way around. My belt is a little twisted. Don't mind that. Just fix that real quick. Let me move my hair to the front. But this is what the back looks like. Super cute. Very nice thick material. Not going to be see-through at all. I am going to put a little hill on here to give me a little height. But that's this dress right here. So let me go ahead throw my shoes on. And we're going to head out the door. I'm going to finish my glass of wine as well. This is the same glass of wine I was drinking while I did my makeup. By the way, my makeup's done. I like it. Thought I was going a little heavy handed, but I think it still came together. And then I just have my little coach headband on that I wear literally with every single outfit now, pretty much. Cold is ass out here, bro. All right, we're about to, we just left both of the holiday parties. We're gonna go ahead and just go out ourselves. Yeah, we're gonna make it, we make it night at home. Yeah, we're gonna go get some drinks and pizza since we're already up here near like the area. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, it's too cold outside. The venue was outdoors. I don't know who. Why, why did they do that? That was absolutely idiotic. Like, it's yeah. too cold out here for this. It really is. Good morning. Good morning, ladies and gents. We're starting in the car, looking crazy. I just had my hair thrown up because I'm taking my braids out tomorrow, nine times out of ten, because I'm over them. Um, I'm on my way to PetSmart to pick up Marshall from his grooming appointment. Um, I dropped him off around like nine fifteen. It's twelve fourteen right now, so. Let's see what they did because honestly, like I've never had a bad experiment. I've never had a bad experience with PetSmart, the groomers, but I've seen some like real bad stuff online, like on Instagram, where people are like, "Oh, I walked in and this how he started out looking, and this how he came out looking." I'm like, "Oh, sis," but all right, the light turned green, so let me get off this camera. <laughs> Marsha back. PetSmart played me. Well, us. They literally. Let me roll this window down. I got the window up for him. Hold on. 
Marshall. You still want the window down, Butta? Yeah, he's in the window right now. But I am so upset. PetSmart literally shaved him down. And apparently, ooh, 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 bumpy. Apparently they say it's because he was mad at, but when I dropped him off, the person who did like, um, like went through his hair and saw if there was any matting said there were no, there was no matting So now they're saying it's matting and they literally shaved them off and I'm just like I paid y'all $80 For y'all to just cut his hair off like cut it all off like So you know what? I'm done. I think I'm done. We're gonna start doing at-home grooming at-home groom grooming because This is ridiculous like as much money as I pay as much money as I'm paying y'all to like groom my dog for y'all just to shave his hair off, I could do that at home for free. I have clippers. We have a, literally we have a clipper set that we ordered from Amazon when we first got Marsha because I, I was gonna do at home grooming and it just, I really didn't know what I was doing. But now I know what I'm doing enough to like give him a clean cut or whatever. But I'm so upset. Like I am really, really upset because later at two o'clock, right now it's 12, something what time is it right now it's 12 46 marshall has his photos with santa at two o'clock and i thought that getting him a haircut today would be perfect to have like a fresh cut for his pictures with santa but now he look crazy and i'm just so i don't know i'm very very upset about it like i can't believe they did him like that bro like i can't believe they did my dog like that marshall how they do you like that but uh marshall marshall he ignore me because he in the window but I'm gonna give you guys a better look of his hair once we get home because we literally are what two minutes away from the house so when I got out the car I'll show you guys what it like actually looks like so because right now just looking at him like it don't look that bad but I'm telling y'all like they they did me dirty they did him dirty they did us dirty it's so funny because we're watching other dogs <laughs> And right now, literally, our office slash laundry room is like a freaking, I don't know. But here's Marshall, and then we're watching this dog, Bentley, right here. Let me show you guys, because they just all running around. Ah, ah, get out of there. So, just to do some introductions for you guys. Bentley, say hi. Sit, sit. So, this is Bentley. Um, he's a toy poodle. Sorry, he's running around. But this is Bentley. He's a toy poodle. He actually... <laughs> Hi. He kind of looks like Marshall when Marshall wasn't looking crazy. And then we're also watching this dog right here. This is Fifi. She's super cute. She's a sweet girl. She's such a sweet girl. Yeah. And then that's Marshall. Marshall, sit. Sit, butter, because I got to show them your haircut. Good boy. Look at you. Good sit. Marshall. Mar Marshall. He is too excited to be around these dolls right now. Marshall, sit. Sit. Stay. Stay. So this is what his hair is looking like, bro. Like, what? They cut it down. Uh, I am so upset. They left his tail fluffy. Like, I would really get excited about that. But his whole body is just, like, cut down. I'm I'm so upset. But anyway, I have... What are y'all doing? Leave that girl alone. But I did end up picking up something. Sorry, we're running laundry. We're actually... Clean, we cleaned the entire house today because we're having our game night tonight. So that's why the washing machine and everything's going. But I also picked up a leave-in conditioner from PetSmart. And this is what it looks like. It's from the Chi line. Love their products, so I had to pick this up. And it smells so good. This is the Keratin Leave-In Conditioner Moisturizing Spray. It smells really good. So I'm gonna put this in Marshall and brush it through his hair. It was like $12.99, I think. So it wasn't it wasn't cheap. Pretty pricey. Yeah, it was $12.99. So we ended up paying $89.90 at the groomer just now. And our groomer's name was Ace. Never ever use him again. And then on there it just says a very sweet boy. Would love to see him again. You will not be seeing him again because you cut his hair. And that my baby boy. My poor baby boy. Yeah, he's down here, guys. I'm so sad. Like, he doesn't look as bad as he did the last time we took him to another groomer. The other groomer we took him to shaved him. Like, he was bald. I think, do I have a picture? I'll probably insert a picture right here of what he looked like when he went to the other groomer. He quite literally was bald. So, at least they left some hair on him, but he's, I just don't like when he's that, like, shaved. 
but yeah i'm about to go ahead and update our budget because like i said right now it's 12.53 we have marshall's um pet pictures at 210 that's the time of the appointment so we're gonna head there marshall are you ready for your photos with santa come here show the people your bow tie oh my gosh he don't want to show y'all the bow tie so his bow tie is all crooked but he's supposed to be it's supposed to be twisted this way there we go yep so we put his bow tie on him so he could be ready for his photos look at him looking so handsome okay but yeah yeah anyway so we ended up i pushed his um santa photos appointment back because we weren't gonna make that time of 210 right now it is 220 we just not leaving the house so yeah so we're heading there right now hopefully we can get there in time we'll see it'll kind of be a waste of time well it will be a waste of time if we don't make it there in time so i'll let you guys know if we end up missing his photos with santa we're back home marshall didn't get his photos with santa we weren't gonna make it there in time so we decided that we're probably gonna try and take them tomorrow sorry bentley is whimpering right now yeah the dog that i introduced y'all to earlier well yeah. the small version of marshall that i introduced you to earlier he's whimpering and barking because i think does he see the neighbor dog or he just sees yeah but yeah so we did end up going to the store and picking up some things for tonight's game night so i want to show you guys that we picked up some bottles the first bottle you can turn that one yeah there we go but we ended up picking up some rum and we picked up some tequila because we're gonna do margarita and we're gonna do um malibu sunrise so these are the two bottles that we ended up picking up um alcohol is pretty pricey and then we also picked up some sprite for my friend's girlfriend who's pregnant so obviously she will not be drinking with us so i just picked up some sprite for her and then we also picked up some last minute cookies to go on the charcuterie board and then we also picked up some rotisserie chicken once i start getting everything together i'm going to come back on camera but for right now i just wanted to show you guys what we picked up from the store i am going to make the drinks really quick with you guys on camera though before i do anything else because lila wants to taste it so let's go ahead and make some cocktails let me move you guys back so you guys can see everything so we have two of these canisters we got them last year or earlier this year it had to be earlier this year for marshall's first birthday and we put like lemonade and um juice in there but for today's purposes we're going to be doing our cocktails in here so like i said we're going to be doing malibu sunrise and margaritas so for the malibu i mean for the margarita so yeah so for the margaritas we're going to be mix using these margarita mixes that we picked up from home goods i think we got these yeah and they were 7.99 each so so i'm gonna go ahead and add the margarita mix and Fifi, get down here. Fifi. Fifi. What are you doing, girl? Huh? What are you doing, girl? What are you doing, girl? What are you doing? Okay, anyway. So that's how far it filled up. So I'm glad we bought three of these because if we only would have bought two of them, I feel like this just wouldn't have filled up all the way. So now that we're about a third of the way full, I'm gonna go ahead and add the tequila. Mm, she needs to be chilled. It tastes, you know, alcohol tastes weird when it's not chilled, so I definitely need some more ice, but I'm just gonna fill it up as much, like right here. So this is how much tequila is left in there, and I'm gonna be going ahead and making jello shots as well. Oh my God, I gotta make my jello shots now because they need time to solidify. I just thought about that. Sheesh, so let me, do I even have anywhere to put my jello shots? I don't even know if I have little cups or anything to put my jello shots in. Sheesh, I'm doing I'm slipping. We were just out too, and I could have just picked some up. 
in the store. The margaritas. And I'm gonna put Marg, I'm gonna write on here and put Marg on it. Oh, you can't see that because it's pink. Okay. Black marker. I just wrote Marg on there. It's not the prettiest handwriting. I kind of want to rewrite it again. Hold on. So I'm going to put the margarita in the refrigerator so that it could chill. And the only difference between a tequila sunrise and a Malibu sunrise is the fact that you're not using tequila. You're using rum instead. So we're using the same ingredients, the pineapple juice, the orange juice, and then the alcohol. So I'm going to do my orange juice first. Matter of fact, yeah, let's do the orange juice first. Use the rest of that. I love me a Malibu Sunrise. Like, it's such a good pick-me-up. I'm not gonna go too high with this. There. The only thing about this particular drink is it's really sweet. So if you don't like sweet drinks, you're not gonna like a Tequila Sunrise or a Malibu Sunrise. So, yeah. Oh my God, why is this so hard to open? Leland! Uh, there we go. Sheesh, that was hard to open. Okay, pineapple juice. I love me some pineapple juice. And I have pineapple, um, uh, what's it called? I have pineapple slices that I'm also going to put in here. I'm gonna add a little more orange juice. And then the rest is going to be Rum. There you go. Used all the rum, but we still have tequila left over. So, like I said, for the tequila, we're gonna make. I'm gonna make um, Jello shots with. Hopefully, and we're just gonna do tequila shots. Let me go ahead and stir this up. Add a little more pineapple juice, a little more orange juice, and then this drink is done. Okay, I'm gonna chill this one as well. So I still gotta add the grenadine, which is this right here. It's just a syrup, but I'm gonna wait until everybody gets here because I want it to still be like fresh or whatever. So I don't want it to settle too much yet but i'm definitely gonna add that a little later so on here i'm just gonna write sunrise just wrote sunrise on there ah, and i'm gonna put this in the refrigerator as well okay so to keep the rotisserie chicken warm i'm gonna go ahead and unbag it and put it in a pot or a pan and put it in the oven on low so that it just stays warm though because i don't want it to get cold but i also don't want to overcook it <laughs> gonna put the rotisserie chicken in this pan to just keep it warm so just take the whole chicken out of here okay yeah all right I'm about to start on the charcuterie board this is the board I'm gonna be using for tonight um, I got it from Home Goods. It was only like $12.99 or $14.99. I can't remember which one. I already cleaned it off and everything. It's still a little wet because I got water on it. I have these paper. I have these paper plates from when my mom came to visit that I could also use. It's just that I don't really like they don't go with the vibe. So yeah. Um, but these are some pretty pink napkins I got. I'm gonna go ahead and set these out. I do have a roll of paper towel over there, but. Just for the vibe of the pink, you know? I wanna put these out. Got these from Michaels. Okay guys, sorry, hair is throwing up in a whole nother way now, but I'm about to start on charcuterie board. I started on prepping the jello shots, realized I didn't have cups. Leland ran out to the store and got me some plastic little cups, so he should be on his way home now. And I'm gonna go ahead and pour those jello shots and put them in the refrigerator to set. It's supposed to be four o'clock, game night starts at six, hoping that it'll set in two hours, we'll see. Um. I gotta keep stirring it because I don't want it to set 
in the pot so I have it in the pot already I did the cherry jello and I just I don't want it to set prematurely let me get a spoon because as you guys have you ever made jello like once it's cold and it it starts sitting that's when it solidifies so I just keep stirring it till Leland gets home um, I'm going to add a little bit of tequila to it and a little bit I'm not gonna add too much games that we're pulling out we have taboo we have hot takes never have i ever brutal this is like a drinking game and then we have the jenga pieces they would be in the box but marshall chewed the box so it's in a little bag and then i'm gonna bring the drinks out later like maybe like 30 minutes or 20 minutes before um everybody should be getting here and then i have the charcuterie board it looks so good so pretty this is what it came out looking like guys and then I have the bowl set up. I'm right now I'm prepping the chicken wings. Um, the rotisserie chicken I pulled out. So I'm just going to, I should cover it. Let me actually cover it. So, so I put the plates and the napkins over here. And then I have the wings will be out here. And then I have the shot glasses and the cups and yeah, everything. Since we have no place to go, let it snow. Let it snow. 